Hello, and welcome to this What's New video for Inspect 2014 Build 7400. Today, I'm going to discuss our new build and some of the new features that are available to you. The three main features that I'd like to touch on today will be the API 579 Part 4 and 5 rules. Inspect uses the latest 2007-1 edition of the API 579. Next, I'll touch on the new 2013 ASME Code Edition. And finally, I'll discuss how we can use Codecase 2695 to perform remaining life calculations to API 510. Let's get started. With Inspect 2014, you'll notice that we now have an API 579 flaw pull-down menu. This is where you'll come to add a metal loss to our vessel. On this particular vessel, you can see that I've set up a general metal loss. It's represented here as a grid, and I also have my inspection points which are used for the API 510 calculations, which we'll get into in a little bit. Let's have a look at this I-79 metal loss. So what I'll do is I'll right click on my grid and select metal loss number one. This is the API 579 dialog. Here, you can select to perform a part four or part five analysis on the vessel. We can choose if the metal loss will be on the inside or outside of the vessel. And we can also choose the measurement type. We have a choice between a critical thickness profile a manual critical thickness profile, or a point thickness reading. And finally, you can enter in a loss due to corrosion, as well as a future corrosion allowance. I'll click next here to go to the second screen. On the second screen, you'll see the measurements entered for the critical thickness profile. You can see both the longitudinal and the circumferential planes and how the profiles will look. So I'll click OK here. The next item I wanted to discuss is the new ASME 2013 code rules. You will now notice that with all new vessels that inspect will default to the 2013 code rules. Many of the changes in the 2013 codebook dealt with the UHX rules. For further information on the changes, you can refer to the summary of changes section in your codebook. Finally, I want to discuss the use of Code Case 2695. Code Case 2695 allows you to use the Division 2 rules while using Division 1 allowable stresses. This will benefit you because this may allow for a lower required thickness, which in turn will allow for a longer life of the vessel. To activate this, you can either go to the Codes menu and select ASME. and select the option Use Code Case 2695 or you can pick and choose which components you want to use with this code case simply by editing the component. For example, I can open up cylinder number one and check the option Use Code Case 2695. After this is done, you can now click on the maintenance dialog and run the calculations to determine the required thickness at each one of the inspection points. Now since we're using code case 2695, we can also use the new 2013 code rules. So I'll click on my maintenance inspection button, I'll click on my calcs tab, and I'll calculate the required thickness. Once this is done, we'll then click on the remaining life option. And as you can see, we have quite a lot of life left in this vessel. This option may be very useful for you if you are trying to get your vessel to the next scheduled maintenance cycle. I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or you'd like to see a demonstration, please email sales at codeware.com or call 941-927-2670.